So today we have a special guest all the way from Italy to talk to us about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Have you ever wondered what non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is and what it might have to do with testosterone and hormone replacement? So we'll be back with a special guest after this, so keep watching. Dr. Uh, Massimo Spettini has been on the forefront of sports nutrition and fitness and science, and you've been a bodybuilder as well, and you're also involved in preventative medicine, and we're happy to have you here today to discuss a little bit about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Ah, nice to see you, Minio. Very happy to be here. Can you tell everyone what non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is? Now, before I might to explain that my real background is bodybuilding. Because I started to study medicine because I was a bodybuilder. And immediately I understood that it was very important to know how the body works. I started to study medicine at university. And after that, I took a specialization in sport medicine and also in nutrition too. Because uh, are the most important things for sport, no? combining nutrition and training, becoming older. My interest was about health, remain younger as possible. About fatty liver disease, not alcoholic fatty liver disease, is a disease that happens in people who don't drink or drink little alcohol. And, uh, but usually these people is overweight or obese. This is because insulin resistance is insulin that stimulates the, the build of fats in the liver. And we know that in uh, overweight, in obese people, also in pre-diabetic people, we have uh, insulin resistance. That means that we have uh, high level insulin that promote formation of the build of fat in the liver. In the early stage of fat liver disease, there is no particularly harm of the liver, but over the time, fat increase in the liver a lot. This disease can progress and we can also arrive to cirrhosis and also cancer. So, it's very important when we know that we start to have fatty liver disease, diet, diet is the first line of intervention because with a good diet, we can improve insulin sensitivity. And so what it means good diet? It means that we have to reduce carbohydrates. Right? We have to choose the right carbohydrates, the high fiber carbs. And also we have to reduce calorie because reducing calorie we lose fat and and if we know the almost at ten percent of body weight we reduce significantly fatty liver disease. Exercise is very important because the combination of diet and exercise is the best and uh, we have to eat more vegetables we have to eat good food also good fatty acids right? also organic foods because the liver suffer also when we eat uh, food uh, with pollutants with uh, very contaminants like pesticide many chemicals uh, substance the liver doesn't work well, so the liver doesn't work well, become fat. Now we can do more. There are some supplements, and particularly uh, sulfoanilosine methionine stem is very important for fatty liver disease. Oh, is that glut glutathione? Or? Yeah, it's not glutathione, but you already see what I see right. Because uh, it was just because increased glutathione deposits in the liver. Taking glutathione directly doesn't work always very well. If you use glutathione, it's better to use intravenous glutathione. Also glutathione, uh, sublingual glutathione, because some studies document that glutathione is absorbable also 
uh, sublingual. But uh, in some studies show that uh, glutathione increases more using sand, sulfur adenosine methionine, or also acetylcysteine. Yeah, NAC. And uh, one, another supplement used for fatty liver disease is betaine, because betaine increases the production of sulfur adenosine methionine. There are uh, almost 1,000 studies about the efficacy of SAM in uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So I think it's a good idea using SAM to prevent steatosis, but also to cure steatosis. Obviously, diet and lifestyle is the best things. We have to follow a right diet always and also exercise everything uh, um, we can do to stay healthy. We say not alcoholic liver disease, but also if you are not a drinker, uh, if you limit your use of alcohol, is better. Getting back to the uh, exercise, is do you recommend more of a bodybuilding type of program, one with the resistance weight training and 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 some cardio or good question because usually people think that the best exercise for promoting health is aerobic exercise. No, also when you want to lose weight, most of the doctor prescribe aerobic exercise. No, it's because when you do aerobic exercise, you use during exercise the fat as energy because is aerobic exercise. You need oxygen and to burn fat, you need oxygen. So you can bore directly the fats only with aerobic exercise. Losing weight is not only to burn fat during exercise. Decrease fat, losing weight is also continue to move fat during the day. And the weightlifting, the bodybuilding training, increase more the metabolic rate. So you burn more fat during the day. And also there are a lot of studies that document that weight training promotes insulin sensitivity than aerobic exercise. This is because uh, the muscles are the most, uh, uh, the biggest uh, organs that keep glucose from the blood. So if you stimulate a uh, muscle, you increase the receptor GLUT1, GLUT4, that keep uh, glucose from the blood and, uh, and uh, bring uh, inside the muscle using to uh, increase the glycosin level or using for energy. If you, we have to choose between aerobic and weightlifting, maybe it's better weightlifting. But the better things are doing both. Both. The, both yeah. the combination of aerobic exercise and bodybuilding exercise is the best one. So we're talking about non alcoholic fatty liver disease with Dr. Spatini, and we're talking about the things that you can do. We've already talked about the diet, nutrition. We talked about supplements like SAM, and the other option is the, the weight training versus aerobic. And I think we just summarized that you need to have both. If you'd like us to discuss more topics like this, do let us know in the comments as well. And consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for future content of any kind, really. So if you would like to contact Dr. Spatini, please visit massimospatini.it. And so I took the certification with the A4M, American Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine, also in uh, functional medicine. And recently I took also the certification with peptides therapy because I think it is uh, really a new way or a new medicine that I think is growing uh, a lot uh, for many, many diseases. The best place to contact us would be at balancemyhormones.co.uk. That's balancemyhormones.co.uk and there's an online form you can complete registering your interest. You can also find information and some of the videos that we posted on YouTube on our website as well. There are little icons at the top of all our social media links and there is a separate social page where you can go to look at the latest content that we've, uh, that we've shown as well as our YouTube channel, Balance Your Hormones.